Hello, I'm Bruce Zimmerman, and this is the Open Line Garden Show podcast for this week. Now, the following new perennials for 2019 will all be available in Ontario, and they'll all be growing here in Ontario, and you're going to find that they may come in or have been bred anywhere else in the world, but they're growing on and put out for sale in your local garden center. So you have to go looking. Some will have this one and some will have that one. So you may have to do a little looking, which is not unusual for the brand new ones. Now the first uh, perennial for 2019 is from Valley Brook. It is a hookera or coral bells. It's called Red Lightning. Now Red lightning has very large gold leaves, but they have these electrifying dark red veins all across. And here is the thing that makes it distinctive, other than the fact that it has very large leaves, is that it holds its color through the season. That's something they don't always do. They sort of fade away in color. So this one does, and it holds well. It's good in the garden and in containers, which is good. It's best in part to full shade. So it is one of the shadier ones. It grows to 30 centimeters, and its hardiness is the zone 4. It is from Valley Brook. And I think you'll find that this one will brighten up and contrast well in a shady area, which is exactly what we have to try and achieve. Now, the next one is from Hillen Nurseries. It's a geranium. Now, this is a hardy geranium. This is not the ones you grow like annuals. These are the perennial ones. Now... This is called Boom Chocolata. Boom Chocolata, Boom Chocolata. Yes, that's what it's named. It has rich, dark bronze leaves. It is very upright in its habit. It has blue-purple flowers over the top starting in early summer. It grows to a height of 70 centimeters and a spread of 65. This is not a small one. Uh, Exposure to sun is full to part shade, and it's hardy to zone 4. This one's going to be very distinctive in your garden, one, because of the blue-purple flowers and the upright habit, but the dark bronze leaves are going to give you a dark, dark contrast. The next one is from Valley Brook. It is a hemerocallus, which is a daylily, but it is a re-blooming daylily. And that's what we want, right? More blooms more often. This one is a beautiful one. I really like it. First of all, its coloring is such that it is a light lemony yellow. Now, some people will say, well, that's not great but this one reminds me more of towards a pineapple that's not very ripe yet in the yellow part but on the outside it's the rosy red that they call red wine in color it's ruffled it has lots of petals so it's very full it grows to 75 centimeters It's best in the sun or part shade. It's hardy to zone 3. And what I like about this one is that it is also fragrant. So you got fragrance, you've got color, you've got re-blooming. And, of course, it re-blooms throughout the summer. So that makes this one a great addition to any perennial border or any home garden. The next one is from Darwin Perennials. This is one of my favorite breeders. Coreopsis Hybrida Superstar. It's a thick seed, okay? Which is a terrible name, thick seed. Superstar uh, has extra large flowers. 
It is a perennial, obviously. It's similar in habit and garden performance to the popular uptick series. Now, uptick is like thick seed, okay? So, there are others, but it's similar. But I think this is greatly improved. It's great in the landscape or in containers for long-lasting texture, color, etc. It's hardy to zone 5A. And what I like about this one is it's a dark yellow with a dark maroon red center, which has also the yellow stamens in the middle. So you've got contrasting colors. And I think you'll find that this one will really brighten up a garden and easily fits in against a lot of the other perennials simply because of that right there. The next one is from Valley Brook. It is a Dianthus. It is Apple Blossom Burst. It is a pink. Now, when we say Dianthus, that's a big range of type of carnations and pinks. And a lot of others are in this family of Dianthus. It's a very large one. This one is perennial, as opposed to the annuals. It has been bred by Walter's Gardens. Apple Blossom Burst has semi-double flowers that range from white to an intense pink blush. So you've got sort of the intense pink, pink blush, pink, and of course white. It's best in the sun, and it does, like all Dianthus, like a well-drained, rich, organic soil. It grows to 25 centimeters. It's hardy to zone 4. I would also check on the pH of this one. You may find here in Niagara you'll have no problems, but it probably, like most Dianthus, like something between neutral to slightly alkaline in pH. Now, the next one is one that a lot of people don't grow simply because of size. And it is one that's a little hard to place in a garden. It's Ligularia dentata king kong. It's a big leafed Ligularia, which makes a very large, very coarse in look etc. The new leaves are glossy and black purple, which turn to a burgundy purple and a semi-gloss finish as the summer progresses. So you got a little bit of a change there. The flowers are golden orange daisy likes, top of the plant on purple stems in midsummer. It's suited to borders or in a woodland shady area, you will find that this one probably likes a little bit of moisture as well. Grows to a height of 1.25 meters. not like five feet high? And about four feet across. This is why it's a little harder to place. Its hardiness is the zone four. It is hill and nurseries. And if you've got the room, you want something that has unusual foliage, that is coarse in its foliage and its look, blooms in midsummer, and will give you definitely a contrast to all the other textured perennials and shrubs in your garden. A lot of people will actually think that this is a shrub. Now, from Darwin Perennials Meadow Sage, this is a salvia. It's called Blue by You. Okay? Blue by B-Y-U, not by you, okay? As an excellent winter hardiness, which is good, heat tolerance, which is in here particularly in Niagara, is good. Will repeat bloom several times during the growing season when the spent flowers are removed. So that's a good thing to know. This is a 
repeat bloomer, but it does need to be deadheaded. It is a little bit more sterile, so in doing so, you'll find that this plant won't go and seed itself all over the place. The plant is adorned with long, bright blue flower spikes. It's hardy to zone 4B. I think you'll like this one. It looks to me to be a little closer to the front of a border or as a contrast near the front between other plants. I think you'll like this one. There is also from Pan American Seed a Dianthus, which is a chinensis. Now, this one is Corona China Pink. This produces very large flowers on a compact mounded plant. In other words, we're talking about neat, and that is important. The biggest blooms of any dianthus of this type with an exceptional flower form. And the hardiness is zone 5A to 5B from Pan American Seed. And it comes basically in red and white. Makes an excellent contrast. The next one is from Terra Nova Nurseries. And it is a Dicentra spectabilis, which means it's a golden bleeding heart. And its common name is going to be white gold. Now, white gold it has a brilliant white heart-shaped flowers, which hang down, and it blooms in early spring. This is a bright green-yellow perennial. It does attract hummingbirds. It can bring color and light into a shade garden because it does prefer shade. And it's hardy to zone four. Because the leaves have a tendency to be a little on the bright yellow, green, green yellow, you're going to find that this one is going to give you a more or less a chartreuse look in color to contrast with your other plants in the shade. So you've got green plants in the shade, you've got the, the hookeras, and you've got some hostas, and now you've got this Dicentra bleeding heart, which will give you exactly a lighter color. From Helen Nurseries, Penstemon Burgundy Bunny. Okay, this is a miniature fountain grass. Nice thing about this one is it's petite, it's short, it's got narrow green leaves and flower plumes. It has a fiery red highlights in late spring, followed by a buff colored blooms in mid to late summer. So you've got some transition in time here. In the fall, the foliage is a stunning red, which is always good grows to a height and spread of 45 centimeters. So it's nice and small, compact, easy to put into an area that you want to just as a filler. Exposure is full sun. Hardiness is zone five, and it's from Helen Nurseries. The next one is from Darwin Perennials. It is an echinacea. It's sombrero tre amigos. In other words, sombrero three amigos, but tre amigos. The sombrero series is from Darwin Perennials. It's very floriferous, which is good. It's on naturally well-branched and compact plants. This is the other thing I like to hear about an echinacea. I'm getting sick and tired of my echinaceas getting up two and three feet and sometimes even higher. They uh, are bright, they got rich, and it shows three colors at once. Flowers open to a peachy coral, age to rose, and fade to burgundy, hence tree amigos. 
Hardiness is 4B, and Darwin Perennials is the producer, or the breeder. So you will find this in your garden centers, particularly when you see the color range on one plant like that. I'm Bruce Zimmerman. This is the Open Line Garden Show podcast for this week.